Okay, guys, I think that's enough for today. Thank you. See you again tomorrow. Okay. Kwame! So, still practicing your routine, huh? Jump in, I'll give you a lift as far as the church. It's okay. I'll walk. Why the hell would you want to do that? It's three miles at least. He runs. He says he keeps him fit. If you run for three miles in those things, they'll fall apart completely. <laughs> Not quite. So tell me, when does Mr. Big come to town? Two weeks. If your old man screws up again, I can always find you an opening with me. He won't screw up. Yes, well, it's always the first time for everything. Look, when you come by my place on the weekend, you can use my weights. Buff up for Uncle Sam! <laughs> I could have killed myself. I'm serious. Two weeks before Mr. Howe comes and I could be walking around on crutches. Mr. Ho, what Mr. Ho? All we ever hear you talk about is Mr. Howard from America. Two weeks, Grandma. It's coming in two weeks. What is the problem? Your daddy promised you new shoes for your birthday. I said that last year, Mama. Your father's working hard. He's stuck on that oil rig until after Christmas to earn extra money. To buy shoes for me or beer for himself. Don't you talk about your father like that. This is still his house, and you are still his son. your food. You need your protein. Yes, doctor, whatever you say. <laughs> did mama cook this or did you? Mama. Okay. <laughs> One hundred million dollars. What can one person do with all that money? And Grandma thinks I dream to be. She's frightened you'll end up like Daddy. I'll never be like him. And I don't dream to be. Not like American boys. Don't dream Ferraris, swimming pools, speedboats, mansions. Little girls with big breasts. <laughs> but you wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no. I'm not stupid. But I'm not greedy. University would be enough. Oh, Grandma wants for us is to be teachers. She thinks if she works like a slave, the one day... We can drive taxis and type letters like everybody else with teaching diplomas. Nothing in this country works. Better to be a street cleaner in Chicago than a headmaster in Impala. If I got that scholarship, we could have a life. We could all have a real life.
You know something, Kwame? I could start taking it personally. What? You know how many people I've got begging on their hands and knees for me to give them a break? And here I am, offering you everything on a plate. And you, always giving me the brush off. Come on, Olive. It's not personal. You know that. So what is it? I've only made two promises in my life. One was to my grandmother. You made a promise to your grandmother not to work for me? I promised her to stay straight. But what she does not know won't hurt her. I can't, Olu. She took five of us in when my mother died. She's 70. She works two jobs. All she wants for me is to go to school and stay legal. It's not much. You said you made two promises. What was the other one? Never to end up like my old man. Very noble. Very noble indeed. But what I was wondering was, how are you going to be able to make one promise without breaking the other? Yes, it is. It's my birthday. I made it myself. Blow out the candle. I want to eat. Is Mama back? No, not yet. Here. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I was going to Happy buy some new shirts. But I kept the money just in case. Just in case that he fucked up. I'm crazy, aren't I? Crazy and stupid to think that Jesus John could actually come through. You don't think come? You know how bad the post is. Probably it will arrive tomorrow. can spend the rest of your life waiting for him. But me, I've only got 10 days. I've only made two promises in my life. One was to my grandmother. You said you made two promises. What was the other one? Never to end up like my old man. Don't you talk about your father like that. This is still his house, and you are still his son.
Kwame! Kwame! Sad. Very sad. You know something? You need to get alive. Fancy a trip over to old Mama Blues? Mama would kill me. But it is my birthday. Happy birthday. When I get up in the morning, I'm gonna leave my lonely room. When I'm gonna get up in the morning, I'm gonna leave my lonely room. You recognize the master? That is a Robert Johnson tune he's playing. Or should I say, trying to play? <laughs> Robert Johnson. Greatest blues man ever. I'm a Tupac man myself. It's one of the greatest music legends of our time. A 19-year-old, Robert Johnson, sold his soul to the devil in return for a retuned guitar. Run that past me again. Robert Johnson played guitar. He was good, real good. But he was not happy. He kept trying to play the sounds that he heard in his head, but none his music. So one day, Robert picked up his guitar and took himself off to the crossroads. He sits. He waits. Two minutes before midnight, the devil comes up behind him. The devil? In person. So the devil leans over his shoulder and picks up Robert's guitar. Robert does not turn around. He just keeps staring straight ahead. The devil retunes Robert's guitar and gives it back. Neither one says a word. The devil walks away. Robert starts to play. The music that comes from that guitar is like nothing heard on earth before. The devil's music had arrived. And everybody lived happily ever after. No. Robert died eight years later, murdered by one of his girlfriends. If he never turned round, how did he know it was the devil? Oh, he knew. Believe me. If you sell your soul to the devil, you know. Mama says the devil is everywhere. Only the pastor's never around when you need him. Robert Johnson, greatest blues player that ever lived. What were you doing with him? I told you before, I don't want you going with that man. Why not? He's been to university. He's a gangster. He's bad through and through. It's men like him who destroyed your father. Daddy destroyed daddy. Nobody else. Your father was a champion. The Olympic champion. 
Then all the whores and the vultures came out and confused him with their promises and lies. Confused him? Confused? Mama, listen to yourself. He was a grown man. You have been drinking? Like father, like son. Go. Go to bed. What am I supposed to do with this? That's a lot of money. It's not enough. It's nowhere near enough. He just needs a bit more time. What do I do in the meantime? Buy half a shoe now and ask Mr. Hart to come back next month? Who knows? This time next year I might even have two. This is addressed to a Gunda hospital. This is addressed to you at a Gunda hospital. It was posted over two years ago. Daddy didn't send this. It was you, wasn't it? Next time you try being clever about something, ask somebody you can read to help you. I'm sorry, Mama. I shouldn't have said that. But you wouldn't have done that if you hadn't have stopped believing in him, too. So your old man screwed up again, huh? How much do you need? About a hundred dollars. U.S. <laughs> A hundred dollars U.S., huh? Within a week. <laughs> if folks in the States may earn three dollars an hour union minimum, but here, hmm, that kind of money could take a lifetime to put together. Tell me something I don't already know. But of course, I could always be a bit flexible if I want. But know this, I am not talking free ride. I know there's no such thing as a free ride. Somebody's always getting paid. I think we'll start you off with a little bus ride. Bus ride? Yes. Okaya bus station, Saturday morning. All those half-drunk oil workers on their way home with their bulging pay packets. Go and see Musa. He'll sort you out a piece. A piece? A piece of what? Oh, my God. A piece. A gun. What do I need the gun for? Don't worry, you won't have to use it. It's just good to have, just in case. Think of it as a, a final exam. If you pass, you're in. I know I can trust you.
Just put the fucking money in the bag. Now! Don't even think about it. I want everything. Hurry, man, hurry. I ain't got time to piss about. Come on, man. Let me talk. Come on. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm going nowhere to put that in there. I need everything. Come on, let's go. Radios. That's right. Keep it coming. Problem. What's that bag? What are you trying to hide? I have nothing. Bring the fucking bag home, man. Please, are you stupid, old man? Do you want to die? Is that it? Is that it? You are messing with the wrong guy. Please, I Don't give me the fucking bag home. What the fuck? Man. He just went fucking mad. Right. Wait, wait. Relax. This is not a problem. Just have to make a few phone calls. So, what was so valuable that he was willing to die? Nothing much. A few notes, a broken watch, and this bag over there. Well, well, well. What have we here? Big, aren't they? Size 12. Far too big for me. Me too. Here. Yeah. Cinderella. Why don't you try these on? Yes, the gods have spoken. Cinderella will go to the ball after all. Is there a problem? No problem. What have you got there? You don't want to know. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You really don't. Mama knows you had stuff there. Come, give it to me. I've got a better place. Can I speak to Mrs. Achebe? I am Mrs. Achebe. Please, Mama. Why don't you sit down? Just say what you have come to say. We are very sorry, but we think that maybe your son was killed during a bus hijack yesterday. No, no. It's a mistake. My son is in PH walking. Is this your son?
Where did you get this? It was found on the body. It must have been stolen. My son is in PH. He's not due back until Christmas. He told the other passengers that it was his senior son's birthday. And he changed the shifts so that he could travel back to surprise him. to see Olu. He told me what happened. Does Mama know? No. Nobody does. Just me. Olu says you to get rid of the shoes. He'll get you another pair in time for the trials. You're kidding, right? Do you think I can play in the trials after this? Why not? I can just see them letting me out of prison for the day to play a game of basketball. You're not going to prison. You don't understand, Chidi. I killed him. You didn't pull the trigger. Is that how Olu explained it to you? I was there. I had a gun. Daddy would be dead whether you had been there or not. They'd still have hijacked the boss. You're talking riddles. You don't get it. I was there. You're I... right. I don't get it. Explain to me. Exactly what will happen if you don't play. Daddy will come walking in the door and we'll all live happily ever after? No, I don't think so. You're still our father. Forget him. He's dead, gone. What about me? What about the rest of us? We've all gone hungry just so you can bounce your bloody ball up and down all day. No, look at me. You need to understand exactly what will happen if you don't get that scholarship. Mama will work herself to death. The kids will never make it to high school. Where all of us have to start wheeling, dealing, whoring, just to put food in our bellies. You are the head of the family now. You have to take care of us. You can't just play. You have to win. Mr. Howard, what's your squad? I'm on his own here. 